back to my channel. For today's video we have another unboxing and that is of a FabFitFun box and this, this is the Autumn Members Pick box. I did get one of these boxes last year but I don't believe that one was called the Members Pick. I think that one was called the Editor's Pick so this one is slightly different. I did say last time that I was slightly disappointed and wouldn't do it again but yet again I was suckered in. I had a $10 off coupon so I decided to bite the bullet and give it another go. This one was slightly different in that I could actually see one of the items I would be getting before I even agreed to the purchase. When I did this last year I did go into it completely blind because I didn't know any of the products that would be available. I had seen pictures and things of possible boxes but I didn't know if any of them would be guaranteed. Whereas this time the advert that I seen that gave me the $10 off did say there were six products and I could get one of them. One of which did really appeal to me so that's why I decided it was worth the gamble to get the box and see what I could get. When I did then go through the checkout I paid my $39.99 for the actual box. You do then pay $10 shipping to the UK and so that you don't get strung with customs once it arrives you do pay your tax up front which is another $10. So it did come to $59.99, it should have been $69. That did come out of my bank at around about £45 which I don't think is too bad of a value. The exchange rate isn't the best at the moment but I had kind of budgeted for £45 so I was happy with that. The box did arrive a lot quicker this time than last time. I believe last time I was waiting nearly six weeks to receive it, whereas this time I have only been waiting a few weeks. So once I did go through the checkout process, I was then given my selections. It has auto selected the one I had picked before the checkout, but then two more selections that I was able to make. And both of those products are products that I really wanted. So for me, I had the kind of value in this box before it had even arrived on my doorstep. And for me, the extra products were going to kind of be a bit of a bonus. But why don't I show you what I received? So as I briefly showed up, this is how the box comes. It's not as fancy as the one I got last time because that was a really kind of bright and colourful box. And that is actually the box that I now use to store my eyeshadow palette because it's the perfect size. I will still keep this box because it's a really handy size but it's just not as pretty looking as the other one. This is how the inside of the box comes. There was some kind of tissue paper on top to protect things. So on the top you do get some kind of sales leaflets and things and then you do get a little magazine. Last time round this did have the prices of all the products that were available. I believe this time round there were technically less choices for products so I thought they would definitely have the prices in the catalogue but looking through this I can't see any prices at all. So because I didn't think beforehand to go and look the prices up, what I will probably do when I'm editing this video, I will look the prices up and put the prices on the screen at that point. In here it just has kind of like a word search, words of wisdom, pumpkin spice recipes and then it does have some of the products that were available but it doesn't have the prices on them. So I say that's a bit of a shame that I do have to now go and look that up. So starting with the first product that drew me in, it was these slippers. So these are from the brand PJ Salvage and they are these really gorgeous grey cable knit slippers with fur all on the insides. This is my first time actually opening these up because I've kept them in the bag and the fur inside is so soft these are going to be really comfortable. They do feel quite durable as well which is good because I am quite heavy footed. But yeah, these are the products that sold the box to me because when I seen people unboxing these in whatever previous box they were in, I really did want them. And they do feel like really good quality and nice and say warm and cosy as well. So I'm really excited to have these, especially because the slippers that I'm currently wearing have seen better days. So yeah, excited to kind of slip my feet into these. I don't know again what the value of these is. I can't imagine they're going to be cheap, but I will put the value on screen. I would have purchased a pair of cable knit grey slippers anyway and for me I tend to pay about £15 for my slippers so I've kind of that's towards the £45 that I spent so for me I only needed to get another £30 out of the value of everything else so yeah excited to try these. And the next product that I was able to pick was this necklace from Amber Seats which by the looks of it is an Australian brand. Again, another product I had seen a lot of people unboxing and one that springs to mind in particular is Andrea Mattigliano. 
she has had this necklace on in so many of her videos recently and featured it I think in her favourite things from FabFitFun so when I seen this on one of my options I had to pick it up because I've always been admiring it and I have looked on other websites for similar things and I've not managed to find anything. It definitely isn't the normal kind of necklace that I go for and I know for a fact if I was just seeing this on a website I wouldn't have picked it up but because of seeing it already worn on Andrea and other people I know it looks really nice on so I'm excited to see what it looks like on me and I'm glad I could pick this one up. And the final item that I was able to choose was this moisturiser from Tarte. This is the Drink of H2O moisturiser. This is a product that I absolutely love and one that I did run out of quite a while ago. It is a product that I always pick up in the kind of mini sets they have, especially around the holidays. So no doubt when they release their holiday collections, I was going to pick up a couple to get some minis of this moisturiser. I do really like the moisturiser, but for some reason I've never been able to bite the bullet and purchase the full size. This one, if I remember rightly, is £39. So again, to see that I could pick this, those three products that I've just shown you, I already had my money's worth out of this box. So it was already a better experience than last time. So now I have a full size of this one, which I'll show you how it looks like. So that is how the full size looks and it is a massive tub. It is 50 mil of products. I believe the minis that I get are usually 10 or 15 and I do get quite a bit of use out of them. So this one's going to last me a good while. Problem is, if I get used to having a full size one, I might then have to purchase another full size one after this. But, but yeah, really excited to have one of these now in my skincare. So everything else now in this box has been chosen for me by FabFitFun. There were a couple of products that I had seen on the sort of pictures and the adverts and things like that that I had wanted. One of which being the makeup eraser, which I unfortunately didn't receive. But looking at the products here, I do have a good little selection. So the first thing I got was this Universal Brow Pencil from Winky Lux. So this is one of those ones where you just press harder if you want a darker shade and obviously lighter if you want a lighter shade. I have tried, I think, one thing before from Winky Lux and it was quite nice, but I've never tried a brow product before. I do really like the packaging of this brand, it's really pretty. And then this is how the product itself comes so it does have a kind of teardrop type applicator which is definitely my preferred kind of applicator i do on a daily basis use the benefit goof proof which has the same applicator like that and then it does have the spoolie on the other end as well so i am really excited to give this one a go and see what it's like especially because it is the kind of brow product that i do go for then we have this room spray from daniel stone perfume and this is in Santal Noir. So it says it is a complex fragrance with spicy cardamom. The body of the fragrance is amber sandalwood with a light floral orchid accord. The dry down of amber musk supports the fragrance, mango blossom and strawberries into the base of vanilla and musky notes. So I've had a little spritz of this already and it is a really nice scent and I would agree with them saying it's a complex scent because I can smell so many different things in there. I don't tend to go for things that are sandalwood scented so I did see that before actually spraying it and I did worry I wouldn't like it but it is a, such a nice scent. It isn't too strong of a scent as well which is good because I sometimes can be sensitive to smells. It does say on the back to actually use it liberally so I presume that's why it's not that strong of a scent so you can use just a little bit if you want and obviously use a lot if you do want that slightly stronger scent. The smell doesn't linger for too long either which is a bit of a shame because it is such a nice scent but I feel like I would have to spray it quite regularly although it could be one of those things where I get used to the scent and maybe if someone else walked in the room they might be able to smell it but I'm really excited to get something like this because I would never purchase anything like this myself. You normally just kind of purchase linen, Febreze, air freshener so this is something a bit different and something I might save for sort of the holiday period because it is a sort of festive scent. Yeah, really glad to have got this. We have a set of false lashes and these are from Battington Lashes. This is a really cute box. So it does come with obviously two lashes and it also comes with some glue as well. They do look like they are quite long but also sort of wispy -ish and maybe natural looking. Obviously, if you've been a subscriber to my channel for a while, you will know that I don't wear false lashes. I do have a couple of pairs and I also have magnetic lashes as well but when I'm always getting ready to film I just never remember to apply them so I might keep hold of these and not immediately pass them on like I normally do with lashes and give them a go because they do look pretty good. So looking at the back of these it says these are Munro 3D silk lashes. 
again, I don't wear lashes. I don't know if silk is a good thing. So these are ones that I did originally think I was going to possibly put in a giveaway or pass on to a friend, but they do look really nice. So I might keep hold of them and have a little go. But next, we have a product from Grace and Stella, and this is a foot mask. This is one of those things where I always say I want to try a foot mask, but I never get around to actually purchasing one. So I'm really excited to have one in this box because it might encourage me to actually give it a go. I don't feel like I have too much dry skin on my feet. I did used to have a lot more, but I feel like it's got better as of late. But I've seen people recently kind of talk about foot masks and saying how satisfying they are where you apply them, sit in them for however long, and then a few sort of either days or weeks later, your feet just start to shed and it is great for your feet. I don't know if the thought of my feet kind of shedding terrifies me or if I will find it quite satisfying. I know that sounds really gross. So for this one, it says soak your feet in warm water for 10 minutes, then dry off. Then secure the foot booties on each foot with the enclosed tape. Best results wear socks over the booties for warmth and to speed up the peeling process. Wear for one hour, then wash feet with soap and water. Peeling will begin five to seven days after the initial application, depending on your skin cell turnover rate. Soak the feet for 10 minutes every day after the application. This will help loosen up the skin. Feel free to carefully peel away any skin that has started to come off the foot. The dead skin may continue to peel off naturally for two weeks. Your feet will feel dry. This is normal. Do not moisturise unless unbearable. I'm glad that the directions are that detailed because ones I have looked at online in the past and I've, I've looked at the directions because I have been curious. They've just kind of said, wash your feet, wear for an hour, your feet will then peel. And that's all they've really said. But it's great that this does say if your feet feel dry, that's normal. If you want to peel the skin off, again, gross, I know, but for me, that's quite satisfying. Feel free to do so, but be careful sort of thing. So I really appreciate those instructions and it makes me want to try it more because I can revert back to this now. Yeah, I'm really excited now to give these ones a go and now just need to find a spare hour or so to sit with my feet in foot masks. But yeah, excited to have got these. And then the final product is from Skin & Co. This is the Whipped Polishing Cleansing Cream with Truffle Extract. So this is obviously a facial cleanser, but I think it's got a bit of a difference. I have tried a few products that have sort of sold themselves as whipped in the past and they've never really done very much but I quite like the idea of it being a cleansing cream it says it's polishing it's got the truffle extract in it I'm hoping it doesn't smell like truffles because they are quite strongly scented so I'm hoping it smells something else it does have sweet almond oil and flower extract in it as well so hopefully it smells more like them than truffle and for this one it says it's a gentle yet effective cleanser and makeup remover that's highly concentrated with antioxidants and skin soothing botanical extracts to renew uh, dry and dull skin. Packed with black truffle extract and sweet almond oil this powerhouse cleanser is full of essential fatty acids and delivers intense hydration while improving skin resilience and tone. Again another product I would never go and purchase myself but I am quite intrigued to give it a go. I've just kind of put everything back in the box plus slippers as well And it's eight products that I actually received in total. I had thought it was only going to be six. So for me, I thought I was getting the three that I picked plus three more. So to get eight is just amazing and definitely for me worth the £45. So this time around for sure was a much better experience than last time. As at this point, I haven't cancelled the subscription for the winter box. I know that one will cost me sort of at least 50 something pounds because I don't have a discount code for that one. I kind of wish I could see a sneak peek of items that are going to be in the winter box before I could decide but I believe the billing date is quite early compared to when they ship the boxes out so I have put a kind of reminder on my phone to cancel it closer to the date if I haven't seen anything. Like with this one it wasn't too much of a gamble because I knew there was at least one product I was going to get that I like but I'm not too sure about the winter box so I'm really unsure what to do about that one just yet. But I am so glad that I did take the gamble this time around and pick one of these boxes up because I think I will use every single one of these products in here and it was definitely worth the money for me. 
So that is it for today's unboxing. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks. Thank you.